In the heart of the arid, enigmatic Nazca Desert, a remarkable secret etched into the very earth has captivated the world's imagination for centuries. These ancient geoglyphs, a breathtaking masterpiece of immense proportions, have baffled archaeologists, scientists, and historians for generations. From their discovery in the early 20th century to the present day, these colossal figures and intricate designs have endured as an enduring riddle that has defied explanation. But what was the purpose behind these immense creations? How were the Nazca lines crafted with such precision in an age devoid of modern technology? Were they meant to communicate with deities in the skies? Or did they serve a more practical, terrestrial function? Nazca lines, groups of geoglyphs, large line drawings that appear from a distance to be etched into Earth's surface on the arid Pampa Colorada, northwest of the city of Nazca in southern Peru. They extend over an area of nearly 190 square miles. Most of the Nazca lines were constructed more than 2,000 years ago by the people of the Nazca culture. Though some clearly predate the Nazca and are considered to be the work of the earlier Paracas culture. While the images dated to the Paracas are often human-like and bear some resemblance to still earlier petroglyphs in the region, the subjects of the Nazca-made lines are generally plants and animals, such as a monkey, a killer whale, a bird resembling a condor, a hummingbird, a pelican, a spider, and various flowers, trees, and other plants, as well as geometric shapes, including triangles, trapezoids, and spirals. Although the figures have been said to be virtually indecipherable from grand level, some claim that one cannot understand their meaning without walking, what are now believed by some to be the sacred paths. Since their discovery in the 1920s, the lines have been variously interpreted, but their significance remains largely shrouded in mystery. The American historian Paul Kosok observed the lines from an airplane in 1941 and hypothesized that they were drawn for astronomical purposes. Maria Reich, a German translator who spent years studying the site and lobbying for its preservation, concluded that it was a huge astronomical calendar and that some of its animal sketches were modeled after groupings of stars in the night sky. In 1967, however, the American astrophysicist Gerald Hawkins found no correlation between changes in the celestial bodies and the design of the Nazca lines. In 1997, an international team of archaeologists, geographers, archaeometrists, and others formed the Nazca Palpa project in order to document and analyze the Nazca lines and a number of similar figures near the town of Palpa. The conjecture of this group is that the platforms present at one end of many of the images reveal their ceremonial processional nature. This evidence, together with the presence in one excavated platform of thorny oyster fragments, suggests water-related religious ceremonies, not unlikely in this desert region. In 2015, researchers presenting at the 80th annual meeting of the Society for American Archaeology argued that the purpose of the Nazca lines changed over time. Initially, pilgrims heading to Peruvian temple complexes used the geoglyphs as ritual processional routes. Later groups, as part of a religious rite, smashed ceramic pots on the ground at the point of intersection between lines. More recent research suggested that the Nazca line's purpose was related to water, a valuable commodity in the arid lands of the Peruvian coastal plain. The geoglyphs weren't used as an irrigation system or a guide to find water, but rather as part of a ritual to the gods, an effort to bring much needed rain. Some scholars point to the animal depictions, some of which are symbols for rain, water or fertility, and have been found at other ancient Peruvian sites and on pottery, as evidence of this theory. The Nazca lines are preserved naturally by the region's dry climate and by winds that sweep sand out of their grooves. UNESCO added the Nazca site to its World Heritage List in 1994. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our journey through history's most captivating enigmas. Thanks for joining us on this extraordinary expedition. And remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be revealed.